Hello, friends. It's Chuck, and I'm here talking with uh, Bruce Sterling, sci-fi author and nonfiction author, blogger, thinker. So I thought I'd bring, this is um, a shoe that's clearly seen better days. It should be thrown away, but then it'll be rotting away in a dump someplace or, or burned and kind of do bad things for, for the planet. You know, what do you do with shoes? I mean, you go out, you see something that you like, you wear them for a while, you wear them out, and you throw them away. You know, the life of that shoe is mostly consists of what it does after you throw it away. So I think it might be a good advance if we had electronic tags on objects because then it would be easier to get rid of them. If you sort of say, my shoe's worn out, I want to get rid of it, somebody says call the garbage man. But if you say, this shoe in particular needs to be gotten rid of, well, there might be a record of what was in it, right? I mean, what's in this heel and what, exactly what kind of leather is this? Exactly what kind of metal? Exactly what kind of cotton fiber here? You know, and if you knew these things and it didn't cost you anything to know them because they were embedded in the tag by the original manufacturer, it'd actually be worth a little bit of money, right? Right. Yeah. So at that point, you could sell it. I mean, even though it's junk, because it would be raw material. You can track these things, and you know, like if I'm wearing that shoe, then someone can figure out where that shoe is on me That's and right. where I am. Um, well, I think just about exactly the same things happened as happens with uh, personal computers and with the internet. I mean, this is the perennial argument. It's like, you can't give people computers because they'll fold a punch card and mutilate us. It's just like a method for IBM to rule over our lives and learn too much about us and oppress us. You know, and the same went for the net. It's like, it's built for the Defense Department, you know, for a post-nuclear Armageddon. What is this? They built the internet so that, like, they can have a nuclear war and then still go ruling over us? You know, yes. And spimes have fantastic abuse potential. It'd be a fabulous way to run a concentration camp or a prison. You just like label everything you own, including your shoes, your eyeglasses, buttons, everything. If you try to take anything, steal anything, move anything in any way, a red alert goes off somewhere, people come into your cell, beat the living shit out of you with clubs. But at the same time, let's say you're deprived of everything and the government shows up with relief helicopters because your house just washed away in a hurricane. And they suddenly say, well, you can have this, and you can have this, and you can have that, and you can have that, and we're going to give it to you immediately, and we're not going to waste any resources. We're going to, like, restore everything that you need for a civilized life really rapidly, and you don't die. All right, you don't get the bad without the good. I mean, yes, if you're in a totalitarian society and you hand the government an ax, that will cut your hands off. But if you're in a democratic society and you hand a greater awareness of the physical environment to people, it makes no sense to argue that you ought to keep them ignorant because the military, the government, or corporations might abuse that. You know, and a human lifespan is pretty brief. The thing that concerns me is the lifespan of that discarded shoe, okay? Because that thing could be sitting in a, li in a landfill gently oozing its constituents for the next couple of millennia. Well, that brings it back to the shoe, which I think is a good note to end it on. Take your shoes, folks. Uh, this is Chuck with Bruce Sterling. Thanks.